Hello Libra, I'm Marina and this is your monthly horoscope for February 2018. It's gonna be one of the most karmic months during this year because we have a solar eclipse. Listen to the video if you want to understand how it will influence your life for the upcoming six months up to three years. Before we dive into next month's predictions, I would like to announce that during February, actually on the 18th, I will make a webinar on the types of aspects in astrology. I will talk about 32 different types of aspects, including left and right aspects, karmic, creative aspects, uh, and much more. So if you're interested, you can check the link in the description below and save your seat, join us live, or you can even watch the recording later. So enough about this. Now let's dive into February, the month of love and what it will bring. Now, this is the picture at the very beginning of the month for you. And you can see that we have the Sun, Mercury and Venus in Aquarius. Basically, this is the main focus of the energy for you. And this is a very harmonious position because this is your fifth house, which means that also there is a trine with your own sign. Aquarius is in a harmonious connection with Libra which make things even more positive for you and especially in terms of your desires, in terms of the things that you love or uh, your romantic life, it might be a great time. You may notice that, for example, you have more opportunities for entertainment, that you, it is more time for parties and just having fun, just enjoying your life. And as I mentioned, it's also about your romantic life. So you can uh, expect something new to happen or some positive changes or at least something which requires a different approach towards this area of your life. Now, it's important that we have basically the solar eclipse here in the same sign. The solar eclipse is on the 15th of February and it includes, basically this is a new moon which includes also one of the nodes. That's what makes the event karmic because you know that the lunar nodes are really important about our karma. So, in this case, we have the south node here in conjunction with the new moon or included in the solar eclipse, which means that it might be a time to separate with something. It might be the time to leave something in the past or, you know, to give up on something. And this is actually something good because it allows you to open up to the new events in your life, to the future and to be ready actually to separate with your past. So mostly pay attention on this area of your life, the things that you love, entertainment, your love life, also children and all kinds of creative projects, art, show business, people who work in this area may really feel this period as very productive and very intense. It's important to mention that when the sun is in Aquarius, it will make square with Jupiter. And this is a challenging aspect. The squares are aspects which require from us to make some kind of change because we feel uncomfortable for some reason. Generally, Jupiter is a very positive planet related to opportunities and success and growth and all kinds of interesting experiences. However, when we have this square, it suggests that maybe something isn't allowing us to feel so happy, to feel like we are growing as much as we want to or we are successful as much as we want to. And as I already told you, the exit from this situation is to make a change or to put some efforts in certain direction in order actually to make the needed change. And this combination here, Jupiter is in your second house in uh, Scorpio and with the Sun in your fifth house, means that maybe you will need, uh, you will make some unexpected expenses or even if they're not unexpected, that it might be more than you have planned. So generally be careful with your expenses. Sometimes it might be, uh, you know, this influence might push you to spend too much money on something that you really love, but it's more like something luxurious and not something, not something that you really need. In some cases, it may not be something bad, actually, but be careful, you know, uh, try to 
uh, calculate the situation. So if this is something that you can allow yourself, of course, go on and do it. If it will be a problem, then be careful with the expenses, especially for entertainment and for, you know, some luxury stuff. Now, the good news is that the sun in Aquarius will make also sextile with Uranus. And Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius, which makes this, uh, this aspect even more positive. Uranus is in your seventh house, making sextile with the sun in fifth house. This connection between those two houses can bring something really positive in your personal life. You know that seventh house is about serious relationships and partnerships. And fifth house is about romances and basically the first step when you are trying to, you know, connect with someone. So basically this is a great harmonious combination for your personal life. And you can make some kind of change in this area. This uh, kind of change is not really stressful. It's not sudden. It's not unexpected. It's something that you will like. It's something that you actually enjoy and need. So that's something that you can think about and, you know, just, I think that this is a time for changes, mostly because we have the square with Jupiter and the sextile with Uranus. Both of these require from you to make some kind of change. The next thing that we have is Mars, which will be in Sagittarius during the whole month. And Mars in Sagittarius actually will make sextile with your sign. This is a supportive aspect, which can help you also to be a little bit more initiative, more, uh, you know, focused on doing something. However, you have to be careful because Mars will make square with Neptune. And this is a tough aspect because Neptune, especially when it makes challenging aspects, could bring some complications, some unpredictable results, misunderstandings, mistakes, lies, and even cheats. So generally you have to be careful if you would like to sign some contracts and especially if they're business contracts because you see here this is the connection between third and sixth house third house is about any kind of contract and sixth house is your work and business so you have to be especially careful with signing such contracts with documents also with information with um, all kinds of sources of communication and devices also, if you're driving, you have to be careful. Third house and Mars here could be related to possible accidents or maybe you can forget something or, you know, maybe something might happen uh, with your car. So generally, uh, you have to be careful while traveling. So I think that these are the most important um, aspects during this month. Don't forget the solar eclipse on the 15th of February will be the most important event. It's about your personal life, romantic life, children, creativity, and all kinds of personal desires. So thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to check the, uh, to check the webinar on the 18th of February. You will find the link below and I will be happy to see you there. Thank you so much again and I will see you very soon.